Welcome back to week four in our Chicago Bears online user franchise here on Madden 24. And today we're going to be taking on the Denver Broncos who have a brand new user by the name of Slick. Uh, one and two for the Denver Broncos. I don't know how many of those are AI sim games, maybe one or two. Uh, I've DM'd a lot of different people and a lot of people just didn't get back to me. So sorry if you're one of the people that just didn't even get a DM yet. You know, I can't do like 50 DMs at once because then I don't know who I send a message to first. But... Once again, I'm going to go through that list as we lose users throughout the year. And uh, if you're still on that list from the community tab, you're going to have a chance to join the league if you're still interested. But, of course, let's take a look at the players of the week. We just got done barely losing to the Chiefs. Maybe a little luck with that fumble. Of course, gave up the player of the week to Patrick Mahomes. But a lot of, you know, a couple of other player of the weeks here that we are seeing. Pretty decent stat lines. Uh, of course, Khalil Herbert is now officially back in the starting lineup uh, after the bench. I know a lot of people were kind of questioning why he got benched, but we did run up like a 47-yard run after being up over three scores. So as much as, you know, you might think that's really dumb, you know, it kind of is. But at the same time, if you don't limit that kind of stuff, you're going to have really unrealistic sim numbers. The numbers are going to be ridiculous. I also just paid a bunch of our guys. Uche was one of them. He got a five-year 70, which is a lot, but he is our premier edge rusher. Jalen Johnson is a lot cheaper, a four-year 42. A uh, nice little plus one of finesse there. And then Mooney was, I think, a four-year 42 as well. Uh, and I think that might have been it so far. Uh, and then, of course, Kyler Gordon has an upgrade point. He needs speed badly, so we're going to keep going with slot. Doesn't go up in overall, but maybe still gets that speed that we're looking for. Press always makes me think speed because there's like three of the letters, four of the letters actually in there. Uh, but two-to-man coverage, which is great. And Excel, was that again? Was that another Excel? It was another Excel. Oh, my. Uh, but that's basically it. Let's hop on in against this Broncos team that hopefully doesn't give us too much grief because we need every win we can get as we are going to be third in the division if we don't win this game. And here we are in Chicago, Illinois, and trying to bounce back after a close but, you know, somewhat tough to take loss to the Chiefs is, you know, you're seeing a team that like it's like the Chiefs, you're like, ah, you have no chance. And then you start climbing back and you have it right at the end and it just doesn't go out and it doesn't work your way. Uh, he's wearing the all orange, so we're wearing all black. Uh, it's kind of like two primary colors, which is not a super common thing in the NFL, but they don't look at all alike, so I guess it doesn't really matter. So, And here goes Valus Jones, who's having himself a decent season in a return game. Barely got caught there at the end. And of course, also rolling with a brand new playbook this week, the Atlanta Falcons, as we're going to try to get that read option going, perhaps. Although I would say most people are just going to have that instantly like kind of read at the quarterback spot, so... If that's the case, we might just like throw away the read option in this series and just go straight pass inside handoff. And of course, good fight try getting all the way to the 31 yard line on a seven yard gain. We also changed the uh, run block sliders down 10. So things made change there as well. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's that's the gist of it. Welcome to the league. <laughs> that's, that's really all there is to it. We're going to go back to the run again with Khalil Herbert. And we're going to cut this back inside, but it doesn't really work out our way. We get stuck back to the line that we started at. A lot of runs in this playbook, which is a little worrisome. You know, kind of just going blind with this playbook right now. So uh, we'll see what happens. This could be really bad for us. Let's go with this. Drive wheel. Also, if you guys have been enjoying the series so far, maybe leave a like. Maybe subscribe if you're new. I think about half of you aren't subscribed that watch, like, every uh, video. So maybe think about that. And that's really all I got for you. And that's going to be inside as Mooney's going to get a lot of yards. Once again, the man that just got paid. Uh, we do have that, like, timed passing thing on. So uh, things might be uh, a little different for a while. But that could be a good different, you know. Different doesn't always have to be bad. Let's go with this. This is all over the place, huh? And that's not bad. As Cole Komet's going to gain about nine. Constantly changing the mic settings as well because currently the mic settings that I have on kind of, they kind of blind the corner of my eye so I can't really see that well. So I'm kind of trying to talk like a little louder. And we're going to knock it out there as Randy Gregory, I believe, is going to make the play on that. Another third and two. Obviously the Bears are a pretty short type passing team. At least they project to be pretty early on, I'd imagine. And there goes Cole Komet getting that first down. Bring the blitz. Not bad. I don't want to go this short this often, but at the same time, like I said, short passing Bears team. 
you know, Justin Fields can't hit anything deep. But we, we will have to try something deep soon here. I think this could be the play we try it. And we're going to be in some trouble early on with only a three-man rush. Might have dropped back a little far on that, though. Could have been my fault. Tyler Scott to the outside. And overthrown by a mile. Might have been my fault, though, on the release of that throw. Would be nice to get in range for a field goal here, so let's try to do that. Justin Fields got some speed. And we're going to take a sack there. Couldn't cut across. Didn't know who anyone was at that point, so we're just going to punt. Broncos do have a couple of really good defenders, like Simmons is great in coverage. Obviously, Sertan's great in coverage. Not the easiest defense to, to beat. And that ball is going to go down at the one. What a damn kick. Oh, my. Can't run commit because this would be a 99-yarder, but we're going to try to get in there. Oh, I was about to say, you should not catch that. Jerry Judy doesn't have those hands either. I'm going to use her this with the run commit. And, oh, that was close. That was a close one, dude. Got to see what he's running before we go with another kind of goal liney stop type of play. And we're not going to get out there. He's going to get the freaking first down. Ah! I even moved him out there, too. Played the out, because that's obviously what everyone's going to do in that situation. To the right on the run. Perfect blocking. There's going to be a hold, though. That might have been half the reason. I mean, because that was a blitz. And I even moved him over. Let's go Brisker going against the tight end. And no way he has that. Overthrown. Man, I can't believe the streaks, though. It doesn't matter who your freaking receiver is. You just burn Jalen Johnson because he's slow. But obviously, I can't just let him go. I had to resign him, even though that was Tyreek Stevenson anyways. So doesn't even really fit the bill there. Oh, and he holds on to that. Oh, wide open over the middle. Run to the right. Good job. And he's still going to fall forward as Javante, in fairness. Let's go a little bit heavier. TJ Edwards isn't on the play. And I think I tricked him, to be honest. And he just got lucky that, once again, our guys aren't going to shed off the line. I literally moved him right into where he ran, and we still just didn't get there. These DTs are really bad. We got the best, uh, the worst DTs in the league, which, realistically, you could probably just run against us all day, and we wouldn't stop it no matter what the sliders are on. And that is wide open. Nobody deep. I don't understand because I'm the one that covered underneath and our guy's just not getting there. A lot of good receivers, though, on that, uh, that Broncos team. Nice hit. Still going to be a gain of six, though. Nice job by Sewell. It's going to be a third and one now from the 16. Might have to put Jeremy Banks in, dude. I don't know. I, just, I feel like TJ Edwards is just a liability out here. Could be a read option. Would I trust that? Probably not. Backup is in. And he still falls forward. Tyler Batty, the like 5'5 five, five running back, falls forward on TJ, uh, not TJ Edwards, Tremaine Edmonds, even worse than TJ Edwards. Literally went for the hit stick and he just runs through us. Could have a bait with Edwards. I don't know if he can get back in time though. Another motion. Give me another run. Hey, he doesn't go forward this time. We actually stop him. Second quarter, a lot of running both sides in this one early. I don't think Edwards gets back there, to be honest. And it's going to be way to the side there. Garrett Bowles now injured. A couple injuries happening. Broken ribs for Tyler Batty. And then Garrett Bowles with an injury. Might want to get on your guy. Screen pass. There's nobody out there. Dives in the end zone. Touchdown Broncos to start this game out. Good screen pass. There's a lot of players on that other side that I had to cover. And I just didn't expect it that close. This is good to call. Velas Jones on the return. He's put us in good positions before. And he'll do it again. I don't know what the hell just slowed him down there, though. He was free and then somehow got re-grabbed. It's a hell of a play, though, to the 42. I don't know if I'd be kicking to Velas Jones. I'm going to be honest with you. Velas Jones could end up being a pro bowler here for us. Good throw. DJ Moore, nice juke move. Gains about 15 on the play. Run call kind of looks like a read option, but it's not. And, I mean, <laughs> what do I do with that? 
What do I do with that? When has our guy ever broken free like that? Like, at all? Look at that. Oh my lord. Let's run it again. Ooh, good try by Herbert against 10. We're at least in field goal range this time, but, I mean, it's uh, still worrisome. I think this is a good fake out play. I don't know if he's going to cover this. And there's a good throw to DJ Moore down to the 17, who is now injured, of course. What the hell are the injuries on? Like a thousand? He's got like two or three. I got one now, but my one could be devastatingly bad. Mooney one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. Do we trust that? Fields. Showing off the speed. I'm not going for the touchdown. That's a late hit. To the three. DJ Moore muscle cramps. Got a lot of muscle cramps in this game, it seems. Made it look like I was going to cut inside, cut it back out. Could have maybe went for it all, but running into the quarterbacks, they just fumble instantly every time. I can't do that. And Roshan Johnson, who's got three touchdowns in the last two weeks, will get the tie game. I think it's fun having, like, an actual power back score there, but, like, at the same time, we are selling with Justin Fields' touchdowns. Like, the backup running back, who wouldn't even know. Like, he's fun as hell, but, like, 86 speed. What do you do with 86 speed, man? You know what? If we're scoring touchdowns, what? where the hell is his return, man? We're scoring touchdowns. What can I say? A touchdown's a touchdown. What are you supposed to do, you know? Not score the touchdown? Just go with Uche. Not going to get that. All the blocks in the world. Can I switch to the right guy? What is that? Why, why is my guy standing there while he's breaking the tackle and not engaging? The cornerback just didn't even go for him. And why are guys taking that angle? Good tackle. Good D. Only gained two there. Looked like he was going to get a lot more. All right. This is uh, this is tough defense. Uh, it's, I think if it was on target, TJ Edwards might have had a chance there. It would have been close. I think so, at least. Edmonds going against 81, who might be a wide receiver. Another screen and good D by TJ Edwards. Man coverage finally working out. Didn't get blocked. And the, the safety or whoever, the corner off the edge, made a play and a half. So, this would be a good punt for him probably. But it's a little short, actually. And the block seemed pretty good. Vela's going to have a little bit of a chance. Finding a little bit of room to the 28. Not bad. Okay, so we're back to square one now, which is good. And we're back to equal with ball. So, we need to score before half because he gets ball at half. A lot, of, a lot of at halves. This is not a good time to run the read, but... And he hesitated. And there goes Sean Tucker showing off some speed. 26 yards. Sean Tucker back in. I don't really like the audibles, but I could if I had to. And everyone's just stopping the read option. I think I'm just going to go for pure passing playbook. I just want whatever is going to give me the best passing plays because everyone's going to have conservative on. Like, so far, I don't think we've had a single read this season. Not that we run many reads, where the QB wasn't red. And there goes a wide open Velas Jones getting involved in the passing game this time. Our receivers are all over the place so far. Just everybody playing. I know it's probably because DJ Moore is still out. But hey, whoever gets the ball gets the ball in my book. I don't care. Tyler Scott on the shot. Yes, it rhymed. What do you want? Ran this earlier. It worked out. You can take Tanya in there because... Oh, nice. Whoever we just juked, I think, was covering uh, Mooney deep. And we have, like, nothing that goes over the middle. Like, we're scared to throw there or something. And there goes Herbert. Ooh, I thought we could have abused the angle or something, but the AI actually covered that pretty well. Ooh, this is a good play action, assuming this is actually play actionable. Oh, this is nice. This do be nice. I'll hike it before the two. There goes Tanyan. The big fella denied at the one. QB sneak with Fields. And he's a big QB. No, my luck. He'll fumble. We're going to get Andrew Luck out here, aren't we? And he's going to be stopped. I suppose it does get the clock moving. I really want to run it again. I mean, why not? Obvious run commit is obvious, but what am I supposed to do there? Throwing at the one-yard line? What am I, freaking Seattle Seahawks? Clock is draining, in fairness. I mean, that's perfect coverage. Try to get it to, to whoever the hell that was. 
do I go for this? I mean, it'll put him at the three. Kicking it deep gives him a chance with all three timeouts. But if he's at the three, it's going to be hard to score from there. Man, the, the corners on this team, though. Like, the DBs on this team for him are insane. And that's good. Nice. That was worth it. Tyler Scott. Simmons really ain't built for that man coverage. The zig works. It's a great throw. And it was a risk that was worthy in the end. I just felt like him being pinned at the three is equally as, not equally as good as scoring a touchdown. You want that lead, but you know, it's it's important, you know, that, that factor, him being stuck there. Three, two, whatever the hell it was. I don't know. Who cares? If that's my go for it, that's my go for it. It was worth it. We scored. Dropping back, cover four. A little bit of a comeback here. You know, kind of kind of looking a little worrisome early. Edmonds deep over the middle. Oh, that's overthrown. Eddie Jackson with a gift. Get out of the way, Trim. This team, dude. Do you know how to block? <laughs> you don't block your own teammate when you're blocking. You block the opposing team. We'll take that gift. Overthrown by Russell. I wonder if he's on Classic. That's a good user. Damn, I didn't think he was going to get that. It's a good bait. I just thought it was really, like, not smart for him to follow the tight end. Because the tight end gains 10, where the wide receiver gains 30 if he leaves it. So in a way, it was a bad decision by him that led to the first down. Like, usually that tight end is there to bait the AI, not the user out. But it works out for him, so what, I, what can I say? Yeah, that's a late throw. I would have had a really nice hit on him. We kind of got there. It wasn't, like, clean. But yeah, it's, it's hard not to throw picks, especially in a user league. Regular league, it's hard, but against a user, it's really hard. Look at Edmonds. Got a piece of him. Takes him out of bounds as well. Third and five. You have a decision to make because it's like, if you just run base defense, you're probably not going to get him down in time. But if you get a blitz going, you might force him into, you know, having to punt it. I really should have went something deeper. That is wide open. Eh, you know, to be fair, Stevenson did a pretty good job there. I don't know if he gets that. It's such a far throw. I don't think it matters to get a return, so I'm going to try to block it with Eddie. Oh! That was kind of close. That was not a penalty. <laughs> Bayless Jones don't care, but still, I care. Oh, there goes Sean Tucker gaining some yardage. Oh, Sean Tucker. Not bad to the 50. He's him. Our defense deep, though, is really struggling. But I think the big problem right now is stopping that short run. Um, throwing medium really hasn't worked. I can see why that, that passer rating allowed for that Broncos team is so low for medium. Because, I mean, they're, they're, he's killing it. The, the coverage in the middle of the field, dude. Simmons and uh, Sertan. I mean, it's tough when you go against, like, an elite corner. Because they basically, especially when your team's not that great. Like, we have DJ Moore, but he's usually on the other side of the field anyways. You know, it's you can't really throw to that side of the field. And then, obviously, Simmons on the other side. I mean, I kind of had no choice but to force it on that, that uh, fourth down go for because no one else was open. We know it's a hook curl. And we'll take the coverage sack. That he, I think he was looking at that that slot shot, which is what we covered, and he decided to hold on to it. And Boogie Basha might have gotten his first uh, sack as a as a guy, as an us. Oh, safety! Is that Eddie? Brought the blitz. Holy crap! The blitz coming in clutch. Damn, son. Valus on the return. Holy crap, the hang time. Oh, right into a freaking linebacker. That's a nice uh, a nice safety there. I kind of want this to switch. Mooney's a little bit better. No way he gets to that. No way. Who even was he using? Cooper? I thought he was some slow linebacker. Little underthrown, but got there. If it was a little more out there, we would have been cooking, I think. He's kind of backed off. I still think it's worth trying Valus Jones on the streak. That's pretty good coverage. Good D. I don't know how to do, like, a touch pass with this, like, 
timing crap. Isaiah Rogers, actually. Forgot that the, the Broncos user had a pretty early pick, and that's who they chose. I mean, look at the freaking players on his team. Good user by him. But those, those DBs, man, they're really just... I don't know if I'm just freaking out on them for nothing, but they scare me, dude. Like, I honestly see those DBs, and I'm just like, I can't throw them. I can't throw against them. Nobody's on the running back. Like, I don't want to just throw short, but, like, if the guys are all backed up and that's where we're trying to throw and we can't get it there because they're backed up, what am I supposed to do, you know? DJ Moore still out, by the way, which is really not fun. Tyler Scott ran this a few times now. There goes Tanyan. Late hit. I mean, he's been trying to hit me late, like, all game long. I'm going to accept that. Like, a lot of the times, I'm like, ah, screw it, late hit. But, like, you know, if I'm seeing that it, it could be a late hit, nah, I'm probably going to take it. Uh, I had no idea that was a read option, by the way. I actually tried to run with the running back back to where Justin Fields was. Whoops. Look how we didn't fumble. This play action has been a little iffy. Let's see if we can get that slant across the field. What the hell? Oh, we'll take it. Uh, I mean, I'm a bit you. I'm new to this, and it like pump faked me for some reason. Almost sold. Didn't though. There you go. You can't cover that. Velas is way too fast. I mean, this guy. He's new to the league, but he definitely knows what he's doing. He definitely seems like he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. I think Russell Wilson just really sold him on two big throws, specifically that interception. I suppose that interception, I think, led to me throwing an interception anyways, but still, I suppose he could have scored on that drive and then I threw a pick. I'd have been so mad at myself if I threw a freaking interception because I'm an idiot and don't know how to use this freeform stuff fully yet. That would have been such a sell. Play action's pretty open. Oh... Damn, Tyreek. Tyreek kind of going off. The thing that sucks about Russell Wilson sucking so early in the, his Broncos career is, you know, as a Broncos user, last Madden into this Madden, you kind of screwed. Oh, uh, Russell saved him that time. Russell definitely saved him that time. Slow TJ Edwards almost had himself a pick. Hopefully he blocks Williams and I can drop back on Judy. And right from behind Uche, that could have been a, a fumble, but wasn't. Might be able to go for this. I don't know what the rules are for this situation, but I usually play it by ear, which is pretty stupid as a mod slash admin, I should know. But, uh, I mean, this is a situation where it's like 24 to 7. You don't convert here. You're in a bad spot. But you punt it. I mean, how do you come back? I don't know. So I usually just let whoever is playing play it how they want on this situation. Yeah, I'm feeling the the run block sliders. I'm feeling them. I think they're in a pretty good spot right now. This is also a really dumb situation to be running in, though. So, you know. Okay, what is that? What is that? How in the world are we gaining that much? I hate the fall forwards. And he, Khalil Herbert ain't no power back. So he don't have that in him. Oh, my. I didn't see him on the edge there. It's all right. Oh, my. Good try, at least, Mooney. Way overthrown. Yeah, I don't know if I would call that dropped, to be honest. It said dropped. I don't, I don't know if I agree with that. I think that's more of a, just a terrible throw. And we're chasing him down. Ooh, nice. That's why I kicked it straight to him, because I was like, ah, screw it. We'll hit him hard. I'm going to try to bait it out, run inside, and then turn back. And I did it. I got the bait. Made it seem like I was going to run inside, and then I turned back. Perfect. Eddie Jackson with two picks. I mean, what, eight on the season? Maybe more? Damn, DJ Moore died. That's unfortunate. There's literally no one on the outside there. To the four. Trying to bait him out into thinking it's a, a pass. All right. Good job, center. I hate our center so much. Uh, DT number one, center number two. That is that is the play. Holy crap, dude. How is he so bad? 
Ah, come on! They don't let Fields play like Fields in this game. That's the only thing that sucks. Justin Fields don't play like Justin Fields. Like, he just don't. This is an interesting play. Ah, insta-rush. Would have had uh, the slot. Threw it pretty early, too. I might have dropped back far too far again. Uh-oh. No blocks. <laughs> he got all perfect blocks. There was nothing he had to do there. He just had to run a line. Oh, my. Yeah, I don't Maybe Maybe it ain't Vela Jones. Maybe uh, Maybe the special teams in this game is just garbage. Because <laughs> what is that? Like, it's just a straight line. Nobody's getting off their blocks. Literally has a chance to win the game now because just special teams is terrible. Onside kick. It's a bit early for one. That is what it is. Got a chance at it, I suppose. Tanyan with a catch. Where's me, DJ Moore? Tight end, or the fullback, wide open. Plazing game. Constantly going out of bounds. I don't want him to get hurt. Mooney? And that could have been picked. Literally the middle of the field, just perfectly covered. Like, I, I, I honestly think he's just covering everything mid to deep, and that's why the underneath's been open all game. I just got to go underneath for the rest of the game or something, because there's nothing open deep. Like, even semi-deep. Here goes Khalil Herbert. Good move. Slips off first down. Let's run the read to the right, see what happens. Perfectly red again. Tucker gains five. I think if you have it on conservative, like, all game long, and you don't change it off of that, it should also, on top of it, make it where just in general runs are better. Because the edge is going to be a little more hesitant, even if it doesn't look like a read option. Now, if it's under center, obviously, it's not going to be a read option. But just in general, any inside zone, they should automatically hesitate because of that. Because otherwise, what's even the point of, like... Not keeping on conservative, even if you're going against like an 82 speed QB, like I'm a Holmes or something. There's no benefit to keeping on con regular. That's just my thoughts. And my thoughts are always wrong, so take it how you will. <laughs> Tucker out the backfield. And I don't know what the hell happened there. It says good timing. It's all blue. Everyone's happy. The colors are singing. They're all Christmassy. And I don't know what blue is to do with Christmas, but it does in my book. And somehow it's still a missed throw. Maybe bad timing? Yeah, I don't know about this. Please tell me that's on him. Nice, of course. <laughs> of course. More unlucky. I don't feel bad anymore. I don't feel bad about his overthrow because I just got a couple of real bad plays there. Cole Komet. And another missed throw. Nice. Three touchdowns in a row. Literally three. And he's still got a chance. I'm going to jump that hard with uh, Kyler. No way he hits that throw. Damn, son. Really? Russell's hitting that. Where's our pressure? Oh, we only brought three. I, was, I looked at the play we just ran, and I thought that's what we ran last play, which makes literally no sense. I just got blocked by our own guy. I just got blocked again. Trying to go. Is that legal? Is that not like pass interference? I don't even freaking know, dude. Like, I'm running over there, and the lineman's blocking me on a pass play. F like, 10 yards down the field, by the way. And there goes Uche. Uche. Every once in a while, you're going to get called Uche, just so you know, buddy. I just want you to know. What do they want me to run? Got cover four here? Cover four is always a sell anyways, but you never know. Good tackle. He's going to still get it. And he's going to be short, inches at least. Really? Auto hurdle? Edmonds is fast enough. Is that a throwaway? Good coverage user, Tremaine, on him. Tremaine again. Good tackle, Edwards. Edwards, that's a tough one. 
And we stopped him, I suppose. And get on him, please, Jalen Johnson. So rough. That's mine. Good D. That's going to put a really tough one on him. Watch, now we got the onside kick ready. We're going to drop it. Although we'll say Equinemia is saying Brown, Mukuamu on the front lines. Really? Made those, uh, that like pop? I don't know how to even do that. That's insane, dude. So we go from like the worst onside kick simulation in video game history, previous Maddens, to now being able to perfectly pin every single onside kick ever. And drops it, of course. Of course, the difference. <laughs> Oh my, of course. And now Sertan's in the zone. I'm not going to run it. <laughs> We're running. We're running. Throw it away. We wasted a little bit of clock. Just the run there looked really bad. I got to say, though, this playbook is really bad for throws. And the read option, he obviously had conservative on all day. So us having the read option for this playbook really, I mean... Having this playbook for the read option was basically useless. Taking a page out of his book, which could get us the field goal. It's close. They're going to say we can. I don't really know how much this helps us, but I guess we'll kick it so he can't kick a field goal. Oh, we got a lot of win. Cairo Santos got a little bit of a leg on him. A little bit. Not a lot of bit, but enough. We're out here with Sean Tucker. It is usually like, I don't know if it's like the game has it in place to purposely make the game close, but you just sometimes you can see the way the kickoff's lining up and it's just perfect blocking. But like as that one was developing, I was like, yeah, this isn't this isn't one of the like auto kick return plays. We find over the middle. Might be my fault, but I don't think I have to drop that hard. Yeah, kind of. Go with Jalen Jones, potential wheel coverage. Pretty good coverage. Yeah, I mean, we had him. He had three comeback routes there. All the time in the world to throw, which is really, really annoying. That's why I went for a guy like Uche, because imagine we didn't have Uche. Like, we would have zero pass rush. We already kind of do. But without him, we'd have literally zero. And they're not going to give me that. That is another bad read. Got us against the running back now, which is all right. That's pretty good. Good job by Brisker. That ball took forever, dude. What, is, what was that? Was that a, like a lob or something? It looked like a punt. Drop back into cover four again. I mean, I'm doing really well in coverage. I've, I've blown a couple assignments, but I think I do need to rush user. Like, we're just getting nothing right now. Oh, Boogie. I try to use her, and Boogie decides to go on the other side and just smoke him. Base coverage. Edwards manned up. His tight end's not great, but probably better than freaking Edwards. Oh, that's a good play. An overthrown by an inch. He did kind of get bumped in by his own guy. It's unfortunate. All right, we got press. I don't know if we're going to get there with the blitz. It's a little blitz. Nothing crazy. That's going to be mine. Who was I using? Brisker. Not bad. Decent user. I think he was going to the running back there, but I was covering uh, both in a way. Let's go back left. Oh, no truck. That would have been a touchdown. And I would have been able to run that all the way in because of the, the score line. It's still very close. That would have been the longest play of Roshan's career by a long shot if... You know, he would have got there because 86 speed. Let's read option it. Oh, Fields. Oh, Fields. Don't die on me now, brother. Otherwise, I'm going to have to punt the ball back to him because our run game is not good. This game, at least. DJ Moore dropped it. That would have been a hell of a play for on, on his return. His team's coverage has literally been perfect this game, by the way. 
Oh, nice block, fella. Nice block. Is that the center again? I swear if that's white air again. Oh, Edmonds, perfect coverage. Yeah, I mean, he saw that play before, and that's like my fourth user this game, I think. Not even now, but we're usering well. We do be usering. We do be usering. Oh, there goes Herbert. I think that might be game. Yeah, GG to the opponent. I mean, that's that's a really good game. I mean, he mixed it up a ton. Maybe even mixed it up more on defense than I did. I, I'm not really super great at reading defenses, to be honest. Uh, Russell definitely sold him down the river a little bit with some of these throws. And Field sold me a little bit, too. But I imagine Russell's throwing uh, accuracy is way better. Um, but, yeah, looking at the stat line, how many picks did he throw? Four? I feel like he threw a lot more than that. But... Justin Fields, we kept the picks somewhat down, but there was a couple of calls that could have easily been picks, and his guys just didn't get it. Five yards per carry for Herbert at the end. Tucker with a huge play before half and the 26-yarder on the read. Uh, we mixed it up a lot with the different running backs, but just, I mean, the read option. I'm just going to go straight up, probably go back to the Raiders playbook. As you guys can see, that the running with Fields, other than scrambling when a play breaks down, it's just not going to happen. It just simply isn't going to happen as as people are just going to run conservative instantly. Uh, Boogie with two sacks, though, which is awesome. One for Uche. Eddie Jackson with two picks and a sack. Uh, it, you know, Singleton with a pick. User by him. Uh, Edmonds with a pick and Brisker with a pick. And kick return for Andy Isabella on the touchdown. All right, Tucker's the only guy with an upgrade, so we'll wait for next week. But we did have a QB check-in, which we did not get the touchdowns we were close on. Really disappointed that we didn't because I think we would have gotten like a boost. But 2,500 XP for the entire team is pretty good. Uh, anyways, though, we do win that game. Not by a whole lot, but by enough. And then we have to take on the Commanders next week. And then the very tough Vikings after that. As uh, this division's looking like a pretty tough one. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this one, maybe leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. If you're not new, really appreciate continued support on the channel. Maybe follow me on Twitter, Jumpy Care. Second channel, Pick Care plays for non mana content. And once again, GG to the opponent. Slick for that game. Hope you guys come back for next video. But until next video, look how close we were on some of these, though. See ya!